a tutorial on how to do ear tapings. First, you'll need to get some cable ties. These work out great. You can get them at Walmart. I recently just seen them at the dollar store, um, so you can buy them there as well. Um, color doesn't matter. I usually use black, but you don't have to. Um, then you want some regular size masking tape. It's whatever size that is, like an inch, maybe. Then you want the larger size, which is like, I want to say maybe a two inch. A pair of scissors. Elasticon tape. And then you want something to reverse wrap your um, rods once they are done. And I usually use the DuraPore. It's um, not as harsh on the puppy's ears. They come off really good and um, they don't seem to bother the babies too much. So um, I use that just because it's a little more friendlier on the ears. Okay, the first thing you want to do is I always try to get all my stuff ready as far as my tape. Um, so, sorry, I'll start with this one. So what I'll do is I'll start with my larger masking tape and you want it to be the full length of your of your rods. If it's a little bit longer, that's okay. You can always cut it later. And you want to take two table cable ties out. You bring one about not quite in the center and you leave a little bit of an overlap underneath it and you stretch it out make sure there's no bubbles or gaps if there is you want to redo it and smooth it out you want to use two to help support if you have little bitty puppies who have little tiny ears you'll want to start the start it at this other nub come in a little closer with start at this other nub and overlap but for most you want to go side by side but like I said, you'll want to move it up here to make it smaller for the small baby ones. They have little tiny ear holes. And usually, typically, the first or second to ear taping, and then after that, then they would go all go at this, this length here. So then what I do is I bring the bottom part up, and I match it up. Again, try not to do too much overlap. If you do, it's not a big deal. And then bring it evenly on top of the other. Again, make sure there's no um, no wrinkles or overlaps or things because what happens is that that could cause discomfort for the puppy. So you want to make sure it's nice and flat. As you see, it's nice and flat on both sides. And then I pull the other side up. I don't usually use the whole amount of tape because you don't want it too thick. So I just break off what I don't need. The next thing I do is I get my my one inch masking tape and I take off three, you don't need to be big, just three little pieces of tape find the nub. When I say the nub I'm talking about the nub here so find the nub, as you can see there. I flip it over on its back so it's all smooth here. And then I pull the excess in to make it a straight rod. Actually, if it's thicker on the one side, do that side first so you have an even rod, as even as you can anyway. And then I take my excess and I fold it around. Again, as you can see, you don't need much tape. I went around a couple times there. One in the middle. And one at the bottom. Again, stay above that knob. Don't, don't put your tape on the knob. Put it above the knob. All you're doing is securing that to make sure it don't move around. The next step is you take your DuraPore tape or whatever white tape you decide to use, 
Again, I use this just because it seems to um, have the right amount of glue. And I take off a generous piece. It's nice too because it cuts, you, can, you don't need a scissor, you can just cut it with your fingers. And sometimes the tape sticks to you. Then I find my bottom piece that has the nub and I just cover the bottom. The reason why I cover the bottom is because I don't want this rough piece to bother the puppy's ears. I know some people that have done this method don't do this, but I do because I don't want the puppy to be, you know, have hurt ears. They're so tender already. And then I reverse, start reverse tap taping it so it's sticky on the outside. Okay. When I get to the edge, the end, I overlap just slightly so I can come up and hold it upwards and fold downwards just to make sure it covers that nub completely so there's no discomfort or limited discomfort for the puppy. And then I reversed tape all the way up. And you can, I would, what I do is I come almost to the top and stop because you'll never use this whole rod and it's easier to handle if you don't have a piece that's sticky. So I stop almost to the top and then I go opposite because if you can see how wavy it is, you want that as smooth as possible. So what I do is I reverse tape the other direction and it really seems to smooth that out. Again, my goal is to have the least amount of discomfort of these puppies as possible. And if you've got any bulges or anything like that that's the puppy's going to feel that in the ear and if it's in there for a week or so it's going to be very discomfortable or uncomfortable sorry and i stop almost to the bottom again like i did before and again i just use my fingers to drag it all right and there's your rod and you can hold it up by here, by the top. I'm going to make my second one, and then we'll um, show you how it's put in. And um, I'll be back after I'm done making my second one. Okay, the next thing you need to do, stop. She must know she's uh, being recorded. Next thing you need to do is get some tape. Just hold on, baby. And what I do is I just use my table. Stop. And I cut myself my, t my tapes just so I can have these all out. I cut two big long ones for the bases, a little bit shorter for the middle. Stop. Stop. And then smaller ones for the tips. And I have this ready so you're not having to do all this extra stuff, extra steps when you have the puppies when you're ready to put the ears in. So now I've got my posts. Stop. Stop. And again, you find the nub. You want the nub facing exterior of the of the ear because you again you don't want that pressing against the puppy's ear. Stop. 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 And you place it inside the ear. Stop. You must be knowing you're being videotaped. Stop. Take the longer piece. Stop. Hey. Stop. And you place around the ear like so. Take the second longest piece. Put it in the middle. Stop. And I like the elasticon because it's nice and sticky and it does stretch. Stop. Stop. Good girl. Stop. Stop. Goodness gracious. She's usually not this naughty, honestly. She knows she's on TV. I will tell you the one thing about using Elasticon 
the best tip I can give you is do not do it too tight. It's, it's really easy to do it too tight, and if you do, you could lose the circulation and you could lose your ear. So make sure you don't do that. After they're done with that, stop. Cut the ear off, cut the um, tip off, the excess. And then what I do is I just press it. And that's the thing I like about the Elasticon is it really forms the ear really nicely. Stop. If you want to come in a little closer. And see how nice that ear is. And it's nice and flat. Stop. So now I'll do the last one. Stop. <coughs> you know you're in pictures, baby. Again, the nub on the outside. Push it all the way in the bottom. It makes it... You want to get over here, Randy, and see? No, on, no, on, over, over here. Over on this side. Push it all the way to the bottom there. And pull it all the way to the top. Make sure your ear is all the way to the top. Good girl. Just hold on. Just hold on. Hold on, Angel. Stop. Stop. Honestly, she's not this bad normally. She knows she's in pictures. It's her debut. Stop. Stop. Good girl. You're being good, actually. Just sitting here, I guess. Hold on to my arm. That's good. Whatever works. Again, make sure you don't do it tight. Stop. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> she is, wants to play. She knows there's snow outside. Stop. Make sure when you cut it, <clears throat> common sense tells you. Hold on to the ear. Look where you're cutting. Again, press the ear. And there you go. You've got two good ears. Go back. You're a reindeer again. And there you go. One happy puppy. All posted up.